Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Silver. My name's Cody and in the last exciting episode we made it all the way to Olivine City where the gym leader is Jasmine. Unfortunately Jasmine is not at the gym. She's instead apparently at the top of this lighthouse taking care of a sick Pokemon or something. So we're heading up there now uh, though we're encountering a little bit of resistance along the way from random people who seem to care slightly too much about how much I care about going up to the top of the tower. Um, like, I don't know, it's just a lighthouse. You know, it's it's not a big deal. So, it's okay though, because we have a secret weapon. And by a secret weapon, I mean P Pitbull. Uh, Mr. Worldwide. Um, look, sure, it's it's got a, a little female, si female sign next to the level here on Pitbull. But, Mr. Worldwide isn't, isn't a word. It's more like a Pokemon cry. Like if Pitbull was a Pokemon, which Pitbull is a Pokemon, Pitbull would shout Mizawawai, Mizza, Miz, Miz, Mizawawai, uh, as, you know, just as its Pokemon cry. I think that just, that's just common sense. That's what Pitbull, that's what Pitbull the Pokemon would say, and that's now canonical. So, Pitbull here is an expert at headbutting birds, which is a skill set that, you know, it's very it's very needed in today's economy. Um, and Pitbull's here to provide a valuable service against bird keepers who send out like five Pidgeys at you for some reason. Uh, I, like I don't know what's there's more birds than Pidgey, guy. Like you can have. There's Hoot Hoots. Hoot Hoots are great. I love Hoot Hoots. Hoot Hoots are a pretty cool design. There is, uh, for example, Pidgeotto, uh, which is like a Pidgey except better. You know, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of options. There's Spearows. I have a Spearow in in the box, which I was meant to deliver along with mail to someone, but I forgot who I was meant to deliver it to. Um. And so it's just sitting there, and Kenya the Spiro is just sitting there away from its owner because I promised to take it somewhere uh, and it hasn't happened. So just ignore Kenya. Just for Let's all forget about Kenya the Spiro because I've forgotten where I'm meant to deliver it to. Uh, and I'm too lazy to check. Gentleman Preston wants to battle. That's a good gentlemanly name, Preston. I can imagine Preston having some maids and butlers. Alright, so we've got Ghastly now as well, who's finally viable. Um, Ghastly was just a pain to use for a little while there, because Lick, as the only offensive move that Ghastly had, was, uh, was terrible. Lick is like one of the you know, one of the least powerful moves around, um, and Shadow Ball is just so much better. I'm so happy that Ghastly can actually do things now. Ghastly also, by the way, isn't too far from leveling up. Uh, we might see it in this episode, actually. Uh, if it hits level 25, I believe, is the level that it evolves into Haunter. Um, so that will be, that will be a fun, that will be a fun time. Gentleman Preston was defeated. Oh, I say, I must turn some more. I, d I don't know why it suddenly went into a Sean Connery voice, but that's the that's the perils of having Cody make accents. All right, so I'm not sure which direction to go. There's two people here. I get the feeling both of them will challenge me to a battle. So I guess let's just uh, go over here. Jasmine is this city's gym leader. I need to bring her back with me. No one, nobody had better get in my way. So are you a steel time trainer too? Because are you someone from the gym? No. Apparently not. You just... Maybe you want to battle her, I don't know. But that is not a steel type Pokemon. That is a Meryl, as you can see from the fact that the word Meryl is on there and also you probably know that it's a Meryl because it's your Pokemon, I just wanted to explain it to you. Oh, 
Watch out. Not a water gun. Well, Meryl, more like Meryl dead. Just wanted to give you time to appreciate my level of funny jokes. Because they're pretty funny. Right, anybody would be worried if his or her own Pokemon were hurt. I'll pray for the Pokemon here so Jasmine can come back to the gym. Let's fall down here. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? How, how about me? Are you asking whether I am both kind and sailor? Because I know I'm strong. I don't know whether I'm a sailor, I don't know whether I'm kind, but what I do know is that my team will crush your team. And that's what really matters. So maybe that answers the question. Maybe I'm not kind. Maybe I'm strong but not kind. Oh, bubble. It's a variation of a water attack that's like the last one except it does less damage. Yeah, look, the AI. The AI on these these guys is not... has never been good in the series except... They actually... They've, they've developed the capability to have better AI actually because they do it in the after game stuff now. Uh, just these like battle, you know, royale things or whatever that you unlock after the game where you do, you know, you battle 50 trainers and then get access to a the leader of the battle plateau or whatever. Um, they tend to have like AI that switches out Pokemon, that has moves that aren't just the default move set. Um, but if you're looking for anything from I'm gonna skip this sailor. You can just watch me. But if you're looking from any for anything from these default trainers, you're gonna be you're gonna be in a bit of trouble because they're just not very good at what they do. Which is a shame. I understand that Hello. I understand that it's not Um It's not nice to the kiddies who come and pick up each generation of Pokemon game, but I do think they can probably just balance it a bit better to have the AI be good as well as, you know, making it accessible. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I, I, I didn't know Rhydon had the ability to keep the sea lit at night. A pharmacy across the sea, huh? Yeah, so this is actually... Look, it looks like a Rhydon, but it is in fact an Ampharos. Um, because in these early games, in these early games, there, there's not many, uh, there's not ve many variations of sprites here. So you just get these, like, few versions of it. So, yeah, there, look, there were a few, there were a couple of trainers I just skipped. Because I just thought, I am arbitrarily deciding to skip you. But that is fine, because I can in fact do what I want. So we have to go to Sienwood City. That, if we have a look at our map, is in a very strange location, which is to say, no, 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 okay, I have to get used to the controls here. I tried to go like left because it was going to the left, but that actually just goes left in the poker gear. Uh, we have to get through to this place, which is across the sea. Uh, so what we want to do here, there's a couple of things we want to do. First, at the front of our party, I know that Ghastly is so close to evolving, but we're going to put Soldier Boy up at the front of the party. Soldier Boy is, of course, an electric type because he electrifies the dance floor with his brilliant new dance moves, uh, which are, of course, very brilliant. They're, they're just great. So, we're going to head across the water, so obviously there's going to be lots of water Pokemon. Um, and I hope to just destroy them all. So, what we'll do is we'll head down here. Uh, you can, if you like, break these rocks. 
Let's break this rock. Why should we break this rock? That's a good question. Why are there rocks here? That's why it's because occasionally there is a Pokemon hidden in these rocks, like a Krabby, which someone asked us to get earlier on, actually, and they wanted to trade it for something or other. Um, so if, if it survives this Thundershock, then I'll catch it. Sorry, you've been deemed too weak, Krabby. You're just a Krabby Patty now. Hello. Although you can't see it from here, Cyan Wood has crossed the sea. Alright, well, let's go see Ann Wood. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 That was a... Okay. Um, my jokes are the best, okay? They're as good as Soldier Boy's dancing. Which is to say, fantastic. Tentacool is the most likely creature that we will encounter here. It may in fact be the only creature that we encounter here. I don't actually remember the... The, uh... The enemy pool for this area, but tentacle is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool tent. Um, if you need something that's a special, it's a special sponge. Basically, um, this is a good choice. I'm gonna go ahead and capture this, not because I had plans to use it, but because, well, since I brought it down to one health, you know, I might as well, I might as well catch it since I accidentally made it um, as weak as it possibly could be. Well, I could have paralyzed it as well, but tentacles aren't that hard to catch. Do you have a nickname to tentacle? No, you're quiet yet. Alright, so let's head down to discover a uh, swimmer of some kind. Or it might not be swimmer. What are they called? Yeah, swimmer. Swimmer Elaine would like to have a battle. Swimmer Elaine has a Star U. Um, probably the first time we're seeing it here. I always liked Star U. Maybe, maybe just because they were cool in the anime. But uh, as a kid, I thought Star U was a pretty cool little concept. They're uh, they're dead though. They're more like a Star dead. Alright, now that we've seen the tentacle that we're, is likely to be the only thing we see, we're going to use a repel. Um, and just battle trainers as we come across them. The reason I'm not just battling everything on site uh, is because I did actually like over level slightly um, trying to get to uh, trying to get the snubble. And so everything's actually pretty pretty decently leveled. So I'm just running across things that come through directly through my path rather than clearing out every single trainer in the vicinity because we're actually doing we're actually doing quite well uh, as level goes. We're actually strong enough, I think, to defeat this next gym uh, with not much with not much trouble. So we're going to go ahead and do that um, after taking out. Uh, swimmer Kaylee or whatever she's her name is uh, taking out all of her Pokemon look it is super effective but Thundershock's still not a great move I'm hoping relatively soon to be able to upgrade it um, to something nice like a Thunderbolt uh, that would be that would be very nice actually I'm not sure I haven't looked it up um, so I'm not sure if anything is forthcoming within the next few levels uh, for Soldier Boy, or whether I'll have to use a TM at some point. But let's just uh, finish up this gold in with one shot, one shot, one shot. Yep, and it was a critical hit, just just like I asked. Soldier Boy sure told him. All right, well, Swimmer Kaylee has been defeated. We're on our way to Cyan Wood City. I will see you then.